Welcome again. This would be our eighth lecture on uh, the map locations for the contemporary topics. Again, we'll be covering the 20 important locations for this time. And I hope uh, if there would be, there would be one or two more classes for map location uh, just before the mains this time. And then we'll continue with 2017 map locations. Now, uh, the first location, the Shera is just passed on. So, uh, four places were recently in news where Ravan is worshipped. So, Ravana's temple are located at Kanpur, Vidisha, Kakinar and Vishraka. Bish, uh, Vishraka lies in Greater Noida, Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh, Vidisha in Madhya Pradesh and Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh. So, these four uh, places with their temples were in news where Ravana is worshipped. The next is Spiti. Spiti in Himachal Pradesh was in news because recently a glaciological research center in the name of Himanj is being established. Now this is established at a height of around 3, 13,500 feet and uh, it aims to provide the glacial research along with using the modern techniques and facilities including GPS, automated weather systems. It also includes the uh, UAVs that is the unmanned aerial vehicles and the terrestrial laser scanners. So these are some of the major highlights for the Himansh Glaciological Research Center being established at Spiti. The next is Nagla Fatela. Nagla Fatela is one of the villages in Uttar Pradesh and it was recently in news considering the fact that this village has been electrified uh, now uh, nearly 70 years after independence. So now this village has been electrified and this village has its own electricity. The next is Mahat. Mahat lies in uh, Raigarh district in Maharashtra. Uh, Mahat was in recently in news because the uh, Mumbai Goa Expressway bridge collapsed in this region and this bridge was of the period of British era. So it was built around 1927 and it was a kind of very old and unique be, uh, bridge that was conserved recently and this collapsed at Mahat. Next. Kokrajahar. Kokrajahar in Assam uh, was again in news due to the militant attacks. Uh, it was mainly due to the fact of the uh, proposal of independent Bodo land in the region. So establishment of independent Bodo land was, uh, is the main uh, fight that goes on in this region. So Kokrajar was in news. Kokrajar is important location. Uh, now next is Petrapol. Petrapol is again very important. Now this Petrapol is a major border crossing between India and Bangladesh. Uh, this region uh, uh, like implies around 50% of the bilateral trade relationships that exist between in India and Bangladesh. And uh, recently uh, ICP that's an integrated check post was established or inaugurated at Petrapol. So if you look at this region you have Petrapol, then you have Mahatpur and the hilly region. So uh, these are the major crossings that touch Bangladesh and of these Petrapol contributes to nearly 50% of the trade relations with Bangladesh. The next is <coughs> Tithal Beach. Tithal Beach lies in Valsad district in Gujarat. So you have Valsad district in Gujarat and Tithal Beach was recently in news because this beach has been designed uh, as a disabled friendly beach and around 5 crore rupees has been invested to develop this beach which would serve specifically for the disabled people and this beach is known for its black sand. So again this was in news and is important. The next is Jaipur and Varanasi. Now the UNESCO Creative City Network has chosen uh, usually awards uh, cities based on seven categories and India was nominated for the first time under the UNESCO Creative City Network awards and of these, Jaipur and Varanasi won the uh, competition and you have Jaipur which is known for its crafts and Varanasi which is known for music. So these two cities were recently in news. The next is Katak. Now Katak uh, lies in Odisha on Mahanadi river and the most famous here was the Gada Gadiya Ghat. And this was known for the Bali Yatra Fair. Bali Yatra or they also call it Bali Jatra Fair. And this fair is known uh, for the specifically for the Uriya mariners 
who uh, sailed from the coast of Odisha to Indonesia, Bali and Sumatra region and they sailed in large vessels there which were known as Boitas and to celebrate this they have a festival which is known as Bali Yatra Fair or Bali Jatra Fair. The next is uh, now the uh, Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav took place Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav took place in um, Delhi, Bangalore, Varanasi and Jammu and Kashmir. So these were the four locations where the Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav took place. So again they were in news. The next is the India Myanmar electrification grid. Now this was in news because this grid would connect More in Manipur to Tamu in Myanmar and these two regions would be connected and this is the path of the India Myanmar electrification grid. So Mohre in Manipur, India is important. Next is recently India has released three warships and all these three warships, uh, the INS warships were named on the island names from Andaman and Nicobar. So one was the Taramungi Island lying in Andaman. The next was the Tilangchang Dweep or the Tilangchang Island in Nicobars and finally you have the Tihayu Island in uh, again in Nicobars. This Tihayu is, was, uh, is the previous name for what is known as the Ketchel Island. So Ketchel Island or Tihayu Islands are one and the same thing. So you have Tihayu Island, Tilangchang Island and Tarmungi Island which are important. And you have three uh, INS warships which have been commissioned recently on the names of these three islands. So again this is important. The next is Silchar. Silchar in Assam uh, was the fifth region where you have, it's a fifth uh, SBI zone in northeast which has been established. The four previous ones lying in Gohati, Jorhat and Dibrugar in Assam and Shillong in Meghalaya. So total now you have five zones of SBI uh, in the northeast region. The next is India's Green Train Corridor region. Now uh, under the India's Green Train Corridor region, Gujarat state, you have two regions that have been opted out. So it, one is Porbandar to Vasjalia, uh, that's 31 kilometers nearly. And another is Okha to Kanalus, that is around 141 kilometers. And this is around 34 kilometers. So you have two segments of the train connections that have been known as India's green train corridors. The next is Periyavadda Gampatti. Now this region, uh, this village lies in Salem district of Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is in news recently because Mariam uh, Mariappam who recently won gold in the uh, Paralympics for the summers 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics uh, hails from this region and he won Olympics in high jump uh, T42. Uh, he was the first to won, win a gold after 2004. The next is Churu Devendra Jhajariya was another Paralympic winner who hails from Churu in Rajasthan. So now we are focusing mo on most of the uh, Olympic winners and their native towns. So you have uh, Devendra Jhajriya hailing from Churu and he won uh, the Paralympic in Javelin Throw. He won one of the golds in 2004 Athens L uh, Olympics and now in 2016. So he has won this award twice. Now this is the Govind, uh, Govindal Sahib Thermal Power Plant. This has been commissioned with a 270 megawatts GVK unit in Punjab. So this was in news again. The next is Besiawal. Besiawal was in news because Deepa Malik again and uh, uh, the first uh, Indian woman uh, in the Paralympics to win uh, hails from Besiawal in Haryana and uh, she won in the short put. She was also awarded Arjuna Award in 2012. The next is Greater Noida. You have Varun Singh Bhatti who won a Paralympic bronze who hails from Greater Noida and uh, he suffered from uh, polio and he participated in the Paralympics uh, in high jump. The next is Agartala. Uh, Deepa Karam Karmakar uh, who hails from Agartala. 
started her gymnast training from 6 years old when she was 6 years old and uh, agartala in tripura was uh, her hometown uh, she was recently in news regarding the uh, olympics and she was about to uh, qualify for the olympics and uh, she is uh, yet to set for the next olympic race so you have agartala as another important location from where deepa hails hails so with this we covered the 20 important locations for maps we would be covering few one or two more classes for maps before this UPSC. Uh, we will definitely cover the paper solutions starting 2012 uh, for the coming mains examination that will give you a guidelines on how to write answers for the mains. You can subscribe to our channel for more updates regarding those. Have a good day ahead.